Hey folks, it's me, M64 Bros, and it's been one year ever since I made the video called Nintendo has officially responded to me, and I made that video as proof that Nintendo still admires their fans and there's still hope for Nintendo. That was all on my video and my own approach. Also, it gave a bunch of people in the comment sections a chance and hope and proof that Nintendo will always listen to their fans as always. However, this video isn't mainly about me or my video. This video is mainly focusing on Derek McDouglas. He basic- I think I basically inspired him to write letters to company just like me. And to other people too. So he wrote a letter to Nintendo, but it's not about listening to your fans or anything. It was actually an interesting question. Let's see what Nintendo wrote to him. So, according to the letter, I'm assuming Derek was talking to Nintendo questions about the Puzzle League and Panel Depot. Here's what the letter says. Thank you for writing to us. Sorry for the delay response. In your letter, you mentioned your love for Panel Depot and Pokemon Puzzle League. You wondered if we can create a new game within one or both of these franchises. I think that's an excellent idea. What I can do is forward you your feedback to a the appropriate departments to review and th throughout consider. If we can make this game happen, that news will be first be released at nintendo.com slash what's new. Be sure to keep an eye on that page for any updates. Sincerely, Nintendo of America, Danielle. Then he got a second letter, which is interesting that he got a second letter as well. So, well, to be quick, it actually says the same thing, which is actually quite interesting. And Derek McDouglas said, almost two months ago, I've wrote a letter and sent it off to the post off about why and how we wanted Panel D Pong game for Nintendo Switch. Forwarded today, and I finally got my letter from Nintendo at America, and I also got a free gifts as well. Nintendo listened. Lastly, as a bonus, there are actually people at Nintendo that actually love Joy-Con boys. This clip and video was from Kit and Christina, and this is what they said. A lot of people were into Etika, and a lot of people were crushed uh, when he passed. So, so obviously sad. not something, you know, he was not entirely on brand, but he was inspirational for a lot of people and his stuff was one of a kind. So he had a pretty big and dedicated following within Nintendo. Still to this day, I still miss him very much. But that is proof that there are actually people at Nintendo that have a nice respectful community side and still have heart for him as well, along with the other Joy-Con boys as well. And yeah. So other than that, that's all for this video. I just want to show you guys this cool video. And also Derek himself wanted me to make this video for him and that's what I did. So other than that, hope you guys find this video interesting. Subscribe for more and I'll see you guys in the next video. So peace out.